Unfortunately, there isn't that much that can be done with a double shot. However, one small thing that you can do is remove some of the dead space in the plungers. If you could see, the plunger uh, heads are actually shaped like uh, almost like soda bottle or water bottle caps. That is, there's a recess inside of there. So I'm going to plug that right over the screw with some craft foam. Because of the small volume of the plunger tube, as you can see there, every little bit helps. Here's just the uh, plungers with the padding in there. As you can see, it's now uh, basically flush with the original plunger head. So you um, reduce that dead space a lot inside of the plunger tubes now. You can see that I've just epoxy on an old, um, I guess you'd call it tactical rail, from a stampede. And it's currently curing right now. When that's done, I'll be able to attach um, lights or any other things that I want to the front of the double-barreled uh, shotgun. So here you can see that some duct tape is holding down the top magnum rail that I'm adding uh, to make it look not really more realistic, but just kind of cooler. I made it using 3 8 inch basswood uh, and then just cut small segments every, I think it's one and a half inches, uh, to make it look just a little cooler. Remember to sand the part of the plastic, like here and here, wherever the wood makes contact so the epoxy has something to grip onto. These are the two double shots here that I performed the mods on. As you can see, I now have a pretty cool matching pair of what I'm going to call the rifle and the pistol version. So let's start out with the pistol. I'm going to see how far that goes with just unmodified, uh, unmodified shells and the stock ammo. So two of those, I don't know uh, if you can get a distance, but maybe 30-ish uh, feet, 35 feet. But again, that's just using stock ammo and stock uh, shells. For the rifle, I'm going to call it version of this, we attach the same tactical rail that we did to the uh, pistol. And also, I can now put other things like a tactical light in case I use this for HVZ. And this one happens to have seven LEDs in it, so it's very bright. Let's see how far this one goes. Same firing position. So as you can imagine, the pistol got a little farther just because it had uh, different barrels. I'm gonna eject these shells right now. Again, just the stock shells. And the rear compartment still works. And these look a little different, don't they? I don't know if you could tell, but these are the brass, um, some brass cartridges I have. I'm gonna load them up and see what they uh, how they perform with first taggers. So, this thing really likes taggers. It got about the same range the pistol would take. Let's try the brass with some other stuff. I have two streamlines and then two elite darts. So, reload these really quickly, push them in there nice and tight. So if you're thinking of brassing your shells, this would be what to use if you're still using stock ammo. And it doesn't seem to like the streamlines at all. It went about one and a half uh, car parking distances here. So let's try it finally with the elites and see how they work. One and two. And I do believe that uh, they actually work pretty well with the elites and pretty well with the taggers. But let's see how it goes. So the elites went pretty far, I'd say the farthest out of all of them. I hope that tells you something about uh, brassing your cartridges or about the double shot in general. Uh, thanks for watching and have a great day.